touches on Rashad Penny. He was steady for him on the ground a week ago, reaching the century mark and adding a score. It's the Eagles and the Vikings under the lights on Thursday night. Just north of the Delaware Expressway and east of Broad Street, we find ourselves at Lincoln Financial Field in South Philly. Tonight, we're on to week two of the NFL season. we got a good one on tap, as it'll be the Minnesota Vikings taking on the Philadelphia Eagles. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you look at this Eagles team as they interplay here. They come in off a good win on the road, and now they hit the home opener at 1-0. And it's the defense that's really the star of the show. A terrific game last week. They got a shutout on the road, and that's something that doesn't happen very often nowadays. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Vikings. Two teams here, each off to 1-0 starts as this one is underway on EA Sports. And this taken in at the goal line. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. So here come the Eagles, the defending NFC champs, led out by a man who was the runner-up to Patrick Mahomes at MVP balloting a season ago. Of course, that's Jalen Hurts. And we already knew that Hurts was a good quarterback. But last year, he moved to elite status. Under his guidance, the Eagles returned to the Super Bowl and nearly won it. And he's also one of the league's most dangerous players. Thrown for 38 touchdowns his last two seasons and run for another 23. A look at the numbers from Penny last week. 19 carries, 5 yards past 100, and a touchdown. Well, obviously, he didn't have a great deal of time between games, having to turn around on a short week and get ready for Thursday night football. But he said in pregame, he was feeling pretty good and felt more recovered from last week's contest than he would have expected. Didn't seem to think this short week was going to affect him much as he chases a big performance here in prime time. This defense looking for an early stop. This is third down and six. Now Mariota. That's caught by Penning. And this won't do it. He needed six. He only got halfway there. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. And the win last week punted four times as this one's away. Fair catch called for in May, but now we'll have to see about the penalty. Personal foul. Roughing the kicker. Defense. This is one of the dangers of going for the punt block. And you know before you even call going for the block, it's a risk-reward play. So many factors come into it. They went after it, and you know punters, what they do? They leave their leg up in there, an extra count or two, hoping someone comes into contact. Open man, that's Devontae Smith. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. Mariota now to throw on first down. He'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. 10 yards on the pickup. It's second and inches. To the air again, Mariota. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. Six yards the pickup, and that's a first down. right. Oh, what a move. And down inside the 15 he goes. A really good effort. He does it himself. Picks up 15. Also picks up the first down. From the red zone now, Mariota. And his throw is going to be incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Marcus Mariota, his first touchdown of the new season. And the Eagles will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. 
That's a really good decision right there outside of the pocket. You've got to know the right time to shift from passer to runner. He was looking and looking. Nothing there. You can almost feel the brain waves firing as he calculates. I think I can win a race to the pylon. And he turned out to be right. Touchdown. Elliott good with a PAT. And that makes the score 7-0. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. So here are the Vikings set to go to work, and they're led by the leading passer in the NFC a season ago. Now in his 12th year, sixth as a Viking, Kirk Cousins. Minnesota's new coaching staff really leaned on Cousins for leadership and production, and the longtime vet was up to the pressure. 29 touchdowns, 4,500 yards, and a 13-win season. His best as a starter. Captain Kirk, he's quietly been one of the league's most productive passers the last few seasons. And the big boys up front, they're going to stop him right at the line. Second and 10. Throwing, Cousins. And that one too wide and incomplete. And that's the knowledge you gain from being in this league for a long time. He's learned the hard way when to give up and fight another down. And that's a smart move to throw away. On third down, Cousins. They're looking for Jefferson, but this is intercepted. Picked off by James Bradbury. And they'll take over inside the 45 at the 44-yard line. And I think this is a situation where a quarterback coach on the sideline is going to talk to a signal caller and say, listen, it's third and long, and it's still early in the game. Let's not force things here. If we don't feel good about it, let's just check something down and pump the football. So back onto the field, here come the Eagles for their second drive. Now they were winners in the season opener Sunday. Now they get the quick turnaround game here on Thursday night. But, CD, you say this is an ideal setup for them. Why? Well, it's just the way the schedule lines up because everyone's got to play a Thursday game, and that's because of competitive balance. So, let's face it, would you rather play week two when you're still relatively fresh and excited about the season? Or week 15 when you've had a season's worth of bumps and bruises to factor in, and who knows what your record might be at that time as well? Mariota had an 87-yard run as a rookie. This one a bit less, but it is a first down. Well, I don't want to be a jinx partner and put the whammy on him, but I think we could be looking at all-time damn the ground with the way that he's going. Only a few quarterbacks in this league are capable of a 100-yard game, and he's halfway there just in the first quarter. This is a record-setting pace. Hopefully, he can keep it up, and we can have fun watching it. And he'll take it from the 18 to the 15, a gain of three. Second and seven. Penny up the middle. He takes us down to about the 12 for a gate of three. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Now second quarter action from Philadelphia and it's the Eagles in possession. They'll come up facing third and five as they've got it as we resume action. Mariota from the gun on third down. And that one goes incomplete on the draw. That's what he definitely normally catches. Fourth down. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. The kick by Elliott is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense. The firemen, go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. Well, the Vikings taking the field here for their second drive of the game. They find themselves down 10 0 early after the interception on their opening drive led to a field goal. So now they've got to pick up the mantle a little bit. You mentioned the team's down 10. They've helped contribute to that. How are they going to get their team back into this ball game? Run the offense that you think is going to be effective and execute it at a high level. Throwing his cousins. That's complete to Justin Jefferson. Call it a gain of six on the play. And that brings 
brings up third and a full 10 yards. Right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Now a third down throw, and he misses the target incomplete. That looks like it's going to be two empty possessions now to start this football game. I think they're going to have to sit down and talk about what worked for them last week in their win. Sometimes you over game plan, overthink things, get back to what works. And he'll take it just outside the 40. It's a 39-yard punt, eight on the return. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. The Eagles offense back out onto the field. They come off a victory over the weekend, but now the quick turnaround here for this Thursday night game. How does that affect how teams like this approach these short turnarounds? Well, wins and losses always factor into you know, how you're getting ready for the next game. But equally as important when you have the short turnaround, what is your injury situation? Are you losing key guys? And if so, how well have the backups prepared for this? Because you don't have much time to get them ready. They have to be ready before this week in order to play well in this game. Mariota on first down. And he finds Penny. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. 15 more yards there and quickly another first down. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. So the completion good for just three. And that will bring up second down. A three-yard pickup brings up second and seven at the Vikings' 18-yard line. Off the play fake, Mariota toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play, one that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. They'll throw again. Mariota. Open man has got it. The tight end. And oh, he's just going to be short here. Barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. And no field goal try here from the red zone. Offense out there. They'll go for it on fourth. Mariota. It's complete. Swings it out to his running back. And the Eagles are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. They'll try and run for it with Penny. And a decent gain there as that takes us to the two-minute warning. Give him four on the carry there. It's second and goal. Penny trying to get to the goal line, but he's going to be stopped just short at the one. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. Penny will try to punch it in. And he's in for the Eagles touchdown. Rashad Penny, his second rushing touchdown on the year. And his guy's now an extra point away from taking a three-score lead. So the second down run didn't work. They run it again on third down and get in. I wasn't sure if they might pass it, Charles. We know that they like to mix it up down here around the goal line. Yeah, almost felt like the offensive line said, forget mixing it up. Let's call it favorite running play. One of our best blockers. And let's get this one in. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. And out now come the Vikings. Not only are they in search of their first score, they're in search of their first first down in this ball game as they come up first and 10. Cousins. And that's complete to K.J. Osborne. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. Here's second and five now from the 22. To throw, Cousins. And that is incomplete here. And he's only hit on two of his first six passes. Time for a quick quarterback regroup here with a big third down coming up. 
Cousins to throw it. And this is going to be incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. So on fourth down, on is the punter, Ryan Wright. And take it right at the 35. Call it an even 40-yard punt, 7-0 on the return. And it will be Eagles football first and 10. Well, let's gaze our attention as the offense takes the field on Rashad Penny. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. And he doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back. And that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. Mariota now from the 50. This one complete down the field to Gotti. And he'll get this one down near the 20 yard line. Just shy of the 20. A gain of 28 yards there and give him the first down. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. A first down throw for Mariota. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Throwing, Mariota, incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Again, it's Mariota. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Back at the 26-yard line. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. So this lead, Charles, is continuing to swell here in the first half. What's well, interesting, when we talked to them prior to the game, they told us that their game plan was take no prisoners, and they've lived up to it so far because everything has worked. No guarantee that'll continue. But all in all, this coaching staff's got to be very pleased by what they've seen. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. The Vikings going to take over now late in this first half. I don't think they need to be reminded of the situation here. I mean, the clock is dwindling. Three-score deficit waiting for them at halftime unless they can get something on the board here before intermission. Just a gain of a couple there. And yeah, that's going to bring up second down. It's second and eight at the 23-yard line. Final play of the half. Cousins. Justin Jefferson bringing in the slam. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. So we've come to halftime here in Philly with the Eagles on top. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, we'll get back to you guys in a moment. But first, the NFL season is in full swing. Let's show the good folks what we've got in store for us later this weekend here in week two. As far as the early games go in that one o'clock window, we'll be focused on that game in Nashville. A big one for the Titans as they'll square off against the L.A. Chargers. More good stuff later in the afternoon. One being down in the desert where it'll be the Cardinals at home in Glendale taking on the New York Giants. And finally, on Monday night, our first doubleheader of the year. Saints Panthers at 7.15 Eastern, followed by Cleveland Pittsburgh an hour later. We saw a strong first half from the veteran running back Rashad Penny. He had a touchdown run that helped get his guys this halftime lead. All right, Coach, thanks very much. Fine work as always as we welcome you back for quarter number three. The Vikings set to receive the second half kickoff, and they trail it here as we resume play. And he returns this to the 22. And the Vikings offense set to go to work to begin this third quarter. 
Well, they look up at the scoreboard facing that deficit. A three-score game, Charles, but look, there's plenty of time to go here. The old football cliche that comes to my mind is you can't get it all back at once. They probably need something, though, out of this drive, at least three points. Are you trying to say that there's no three-score drive on that play sheet for any of those coordinators? They just don't have it, right? You're trying to get it all back. You know you can't get it back in one drive, but maybe cut into it a little bit, as you just suggested. Try and create a little bit of momentum, a little bit of a spark, and then maybe that'll carry over. And this will be a Vikings first down as he gets it up past the 35. Work to do here to avoid falling to one and one, but this is first and 10 right now. Going to run with Madison again. And taken down just shy of the 40. That ground game contained again there, Charles, and that's really a big reason that they're trailing right now. They give a lot of credit to that defensive front. That's exactly what they worked for all week to try and take away the run game, make them one-dimensional in the battle of game plans. Theirs has been superior. Another modest gain there on that one, and I think, Charles, you can probably pin part of the deficit on a failure on their part to really get this ground game established. Yeah, they've really struggled to be multidimensional in this one, haven't they, partner? Because they have to be extremely one-dimensional now if they hope to get back into this game. They'll have to do it by throwing the football and hope to have success through the air. Two first downs have them up near midfield now on first and ten. To throw is Cousins. Going back to the same wall, it's Hawkinson again. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. They go right back to him for 20 and a first. I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They looked like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that there are very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. First down, here's Cousins. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Ball the gate of three on the play, and that'll bring up second down. A three-yard pickup brings up second and seven at the 29-yard line. They go play action. Cousins, middle of the field to Jefferson. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 18. And the Vikings first down. They'll go Madison up the middle. And he'll take it from the 18 to the 15. A gain of three. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Cousins now on second down. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And the Vikings are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. On the handoff, it's Madison. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. Alexander Madison. A six-yard touchdown run. And the Vikings are able to cut into this lead as they score on the opening drive of the second half. And that's a step in the right direction. This had the feeling of one of those turning point kind of drives. If you come up empty there, it could be a long road back. But they persevered and hung around, and they closed the gap here in the third quarter with their first touchdown of the game. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. So here are the Eagles now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. And they were terrific in the first half, built up a sizable lead, and it's just been cut into a bit following the opening drive score on the other side. But this is a unit that has to be itching to get the football again. You can say that again. They've got to be pretty eager because, let's face it, they've had to sit through halftime and sit on the sidelines and watch that drive. So you can bet that they're saying, let's get on with this. we got to go out there and get some more points. Second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. And it'll find the open man. That's 
it's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. Now this offense really looking polished these first couple of weeks. Here's first and ten. Mariota's throw complete here to his receiver Brown. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Partner, I like that they're staying aggressive on offense because, to me, this drive is what is known as a put-away drive. You score here, that might put this one to bed. I like the fact that they're playing with confidence and not playing with fear. Mariota again. Smith catches left side. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. 16 yards, a little deja vu from the previous play where they got 16. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down, stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. And he will find his man on the end route, complete. And the Eagles are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. From the shotgun, it's Mariota. And that would off the mark behind him, incomplete. Line of scrimmage, again the four-yard line, second and goal. Throwing is Mariota. Quick hitter here, it's complete. A touchdown saving tackle there. Now it's third and goal. A gain of three yards. It's now third and goal. Here's Penny. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Rashad Penny. His second touchdown of the game, his third on the year. And the Eagles are looking to make it two straight as they add on to this fourth quarter lead. So he's had a nose for the end zone here in the early part of this season. Two touchdowns for him now in this one to go along with the one he had in the opener as well. Yeah, he certainly finds where the goal line is and finds a way to get across it. But you know who else senses it? The guys that block for him. Because he has that instinct, I think they hold their blocks just a little bit longer. He had the option, decided to keep it. I don't know that it would have mattered either way, though. Defended pretty well. It really was, wasn't it? Because option plays are really standard two-point calls, and you have to prep against them, and they did their prep well on that one. Now, after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. And now out comes Minnesota. But we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. Here's second and ten. Here's Cousins. That's caught downfield by Addison. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Cousins now to throw on first down. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. Again, it's Cousins. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Now Cousins. That is caught. He's got a first and maybe more. Touchdown, Vikings. 
Justin Jefferson. His second touchdown on the season. And the Vikings have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. You've got to understand situational football because they're playing with the lead here late in the ball game. So the back defender has got to be as deep as the deepest receiver. Keep everything in front of you, rally up and make the play. Yeah, you would think they had the three-score lead. Now it's down to two, but three-score lead here late that they wouldn't give up a big pass play like that, but they did. And they've got it. They recovered it. But hang on now, though. There's a penalty flag down. Well, CD, you understand. I mean, they're so eager trying to get back in this game here in the fourth quarter, but they touched that one a little too early before it went 10 yards. Brandon, in such a high-stakes scenario, everyone's feeling the pressure on this play. The special teams coordinator, which one is he going to pick in terms of kicks? Can the kicker execute it? Can the team wait for 10 yards? So many variables, and in this case, they didn't get it done. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out by a few inches. That'll be a first down. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage, use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. From the 35, here's second down and seven. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. Have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. Now they'll run it again with Penny. And now they'll stop play here, at least momentarily. A member of the Vikings in some discomfort after that last play. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Now Mariota. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. And this one is no good. He missed it. And this will stay a 12-point game. Now, Charles, all things considered, I guess that's not a critical miss at this stage, is it? No, but still everything helps when you're trying to finish off a ball game. And you're right, not critical in terms of the scoreboard and the team, but the guy with the golden foot, he knows he's only as good as his last kick. They'll come up first and ten here. A first down throw for Cousins. And, it's, and now a fumble. The ball's out. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And he'll return this one just shy of midfield to the 49. Well, that drive wasn't a case of wanting to put points on the board. It was needing they to, had to they having had to, to, and they didn't get it done. Yeah, didn't get it done, and now you look at the situation and the point differential, two scores, pretty much game, set, match. How about the takeaway, though, huh? How about those defensive guys? Philadelphia getting set to take the field. And barring mistakes, they should be able to kneel this one out and finish it off, and there's only one timeout remaining on the defensive side of the ball, so that doesn't really come into play either. We've got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. The Vikings going to use their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And that should do it. He's got a first down. And the Eagles, they can run it out from here. I know we're the era of wide open football, a lot of spread formations, more space, but there's still a spot for power football. We just saw some of it right there. How about that run? Yeah, breaking the tackle, and you know, late in this game, he wants a football in his hands. He's had a good day. And they'll take a knee as the clock ticks down toward 50 seconds to go. Mariota with a knee to the ground, and that should be it. So it's a victory here for the Philadelphia Eagles. And we talked so much about the turnover battle, determining who wins, who loses. This game, no exception. Air-free football, no turnovers at all, and they win it. So this is one you don't have to convince your team that 
what you're saying is accurate. And you know what I'm talking about. Head coach always stands up in front of the team and says, guys, if we do this, this, and this, we'll win.